everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Ryan, and today I will be giving you my updated bookshelf tour. I do one of these every year, typically around this time, and I'm really excited to do it this year considering I have three really tall bookcases now, so everything looks a lot more uniform. In addition to the three shelves you see behind me, I do have books on top of my dresser, which is over here to my left, and then I also have another smaller bookcase over on that wall as well, and that houses all of my classical books and just things that I've had to read for school, anthologies, and that sort. I am not including that small bookcase in this tour. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you are a huge fan of bookshelf tours like me. Put a comment down there and let me know if your favorite book is on my shelf, and if it's not, please let me know what it is so I can add it to my collection. And hit that red subscribe button down there to keep seeing more of my videos. That being said, let's get straight into the tour. So this is my first shelf, and I'm just going to kind of give you a nice little brief overview of it while well, the camera is still on the tripod so the angle gets a little weird at the bottom but yeah so let's just start up at the very top okay so this is the top of my first bookcase and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with this just because if you want to see a more in-depth version I do have a tour of my Harry Potter shelves that you can check out link up in the cards as well as in the doobly doo if you're interested. As you can see, I have the complete Harry Potter collection in the American hardcovers. I also have the first two illustrated editions as well as Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Up top, this is Harry Potter film wizardry, which kind of helps you go through the magic of making the movies, and I actually flipped through this in that tour video. I have two Funko Pops from Randy Granger, which I got for Christmas this year, and then Severus Snape, which I got in January last year after Alan Rickman's passing. Behind Snape, I have a Rowena Ravenclaw chocolate frog, as well as the deluxe edition of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. You can see uh, the limited edition dust jacket on this, as well as a better look at the slipcase in that video. The necklace right here, uh, my friend gave me for Christmas a few years ago that says, after all this time, always, said Snape. This cord hanging right here is a Slytherin-inspired bookmark that my roommate Jane got me for Christmas. And then my bookends are designed off of the silhouette of Hogwarts. You can get a better look at them at that tour video, and I absolutely love this shelf. I think it is really kind of bursting at the seams, but I love it for that. So first things first, I have the Infernal Devices in their new paperback editions. That's Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. And then I have the complete Mortal Instruments series in their paperback and hardcover forms. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. A history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of Downworld, told in the language of flowers, written by Cassandra Clare and illustrated by Cassandra Jean. The Shadow Hunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. The hardcover editions of the Infernal Devices featuring Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, Red Queen, and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. Written in Red, Murder of Crows, and Marked in Flesh by Anne Bishop. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. Illumine and Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Four, Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Lux Beginnings, Consequences, Opposition by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Summoning, The Awakening, and The Reckoning by Kelly Armstrong. Juliet Immortal, and Romeo Redeemed by Stacey J. Jacoby, Beastly Bones, and Ghostly Echoes by William Ritter. Mystic City, and Toxic Heart by Theo Lawrence. Raven Girl by Audrey Neffinger. Nefret's Curse, Mark, Betrayed, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Awakened, Destined, Hidden, Revealed, and Redeemed, all by PC and Kristen Cast. Infinity, Invincible, Infamous, Inferno, Illusion, Instinct, and Envision by Sherilyn Kenyon. I Hunt Killers, and Game by Barry Legra. How to Hang a Witch by Andrea Mather. 
The Vampire's Assistant by Darren Shan, Birth of a Killer by Darren Shan, Revenge of the Shadow King, The Rise of the Black Wolf, and The Fall of the Templar, all by Derek Benz and J.S. Lewis, Angel, The Angel Experiment, Saving the World in Other Extreme Sports, and The Final Warning, all by James Patterson, I Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You, Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy, Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover, Only the Good Spy Young, out of Sight, Out of Time, United We Spy by Ali Carter. The Pinderwicks by Jane Bershaw. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. School's Out Forever by James Patterson. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Aesop's Fables. Small Steps by Lewis Satcher. Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. Etiquette and Espionage. And Curtsies and Conspiracies by Gail Carriger. Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. So You Want to Be a Wizard by Diane Dewan, The Code, Hide and Seek, Proof Positive, and Tunnel Vision by Peter Lagrangis, Midnight for Charlie Bone, Charlie Bone and the Time Twister, Charlie Bone and the Invisible Boy by Jenny Nimmo, Specials by Scott Westerfeld, Matilda and the BFG by Ronald Dahl, 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson, the Back Door of Midnight by Elizabeth Chandler, Stuart Little by E.B. White, Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium World Volume 7 by Kazuhi Tahanashi, Pish Posh by Ellen Potter, Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Ligren, Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate DeCamelillo, Be Anybody's by N.E. Bode, Little House in the Big Woods, Little House on the Prairie, Farmer Boy, On the Banks of Plum Creek, By the Shores of Silver Lake, the Long Winter, Little Town on the Prairie, These Happy Golden Years, and The First Four Years by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Okay, so this is my third bookcase, and here is its overview. So this is the top of my middle bookcase, and these are just some fan art pieces of both the Throne of Glass series and the Akatar series by Sarah J. Maas. I think these are gorgeous. I had them actually interwoven on the shelves when they were rainbow shelves because the background of them are really soft, beautiful gradients, but uh, when I moved everything to the current position, I didn't like the way they looked, so I put them up top instead of like intermixing them with the books, and plus there wasn't enough room for them and all of my Sarah J. Mass books. So going from left to right, we have Aline and Lucian, Cassian and Nesta, Aelin and Rowan, Azriel and more, and then of course Feyre and Reese. I absolutely adore these. I think they are absolutely gorgeous, and I really want to buy more. I just don't know where to put them yet, so I'm putting that on hold. Never Night by Jay Kristoff, The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and then two copies of Empire Storms, the Target and Barnes and Noble editions, all by Sarah J. Mass. A Court of Thorns and Roses, and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. The 20th Anniversary Edition of Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. And I Darken by Kirsten White. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clues. Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. The Kiss of Deception. The Heart of Betrayal. And The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hahn, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Reawakened by Colleen Hook. Twilight. New Moon. Eclipse, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, Breaking Dawn, The Twilight Saga, The Official Illustrated Guide, and then Life and Death, Twilight Reimagined, all by Stephanie Meyer. Grave Mercy, Dark Triumph, and Mortal Heart, all by Robin Lefevers, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, Anna Dress in Blood, and Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake, Angel Fall, and World After by Susan E., The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hopkin, Best Loved Fairy Tales of Han Kristen Anderson, Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, the original illustrated Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes Volume 2, by, both by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling, The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, more commonly known as J.K. Rowling, The Hamilton Affair by Elizabeth Cobbs, Project Kane by Jeffrey Garrard, Doctor Who The Wheel of Ice by Stephen Baxter, The Dove Keepers by Alice Hoffman, Captive Prince, Prince's Gambit, and King's Rising by C.S. Picat, Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, Bitten and Stolen by Kelly Armstrong, 
Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, The Complete Bind-Up of the Lord of the Rings Trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Runaway Princess by Hester Brown, and The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight, This Is What Happy Looks Like, and The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith, Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill, Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, Fangirl by Rainbow Royal, being Friends with Boys by Tara Ellen McVoy. Two copies of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Della Era. Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve to Colk. How They Met and Other Stories by David Lelefin. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This Is Where It Ends by Mariki Nijkamp. Places No One Knows by Brenna Jovanoff. The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. If I Stay by Gail Foreman, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, Thirteen Reasons Why by Jay Asher, The Realm of Possibility by David Leatherthin, The Lover's Dictionary also by David Leatherthin, and The Notebook by Nicola Sparks. And then here is my third bookcase. The Wrath and the Dawn, and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier, Splintered, Unhinged, Ensnared, and Untamed, all by A.G. Howard, A Thousand Pieces of You, Ten Thousand Skies Above You, and A Million Worlds with You by Claudia Gray. Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling, This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, The Novice, and The Inquisition by Taryn Mathiero, Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear. Ruby Red, Sapphire Blue, and Emerald Green by Kirsten Gear. Cinder by Melissa Meyer, Half Bad by Sally Green, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, Here Drop by Lauren Kate, School Spirits by Rachel Hawkins, The Game of Love and Death by Martha Barkamero, Illusion by Claudia Gable and Sherilyn Clam, Carry On by Rainbow Roll, Anti Goddess by Kendar Blake, Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins, Serafina by Rachel Hartman, Dorothy Must Die by Daniel Page, Shadow Cry, and Black Watch by Jenna Burtonshaw, The Clockwork Scarab by Colleen Gleason, The Prince and the Guard, The Selection, The Elite, and The One by Kira Cast, Shatter Me and Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi, The Goddess Test by Amy Carter, Two Copies of Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice, all by Rochelle Mead, Bloodlines, The Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell, The Fiery Heart, Silver Shadows, and The Ruby Circle, all by Rochelle Mead, The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead, and Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Mansicalo, The Red Pyramid, Throne of Fire, and The Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan, The New Paperback Editions of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. The original paperbacks of the first four books in the Percy Jackson series, Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters, Titan's Curse, and Battle of the Labyrinth, The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan, Book 1 in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard trilogy, The Sword of Summer, Book 1 in the Trials of Apollo series, The Hidden Oracle, the original cover of The Last Olympian in hardcover by Rick Riordan, Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes, and Percy Jackson's Greek Gods by Rick Riordan, both illustrated by John Rico. And then Harry Potter Page to Screen, The Complete Filmmaking Journey by Bob McKay. Thirst, Volume 1, and Volume 2 by Christopher Pike. Fallen 1 and Fallen 2 by Thomas E. Janiski. Night World 1, 2, and 3 by L.J. Smith. The Forbidden Game by L.J. Smith. Dark Visions by L.J. Smith. Remember Me by Christopher Pike. Outlander, Dragonfly in Amber, and Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Feast for Crows, and A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. And then this is the top of my dresser. Identical by Ellen Hopkins, A Study in Scarlet, Paper Towns by John Green, Eon by Allison Goodman, Dash and Lily's Book of Darius by Rachel Cohn and David Leatherthin, The Paris Wife by Paula McClann, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, The Tenth Circle by Jodie Picoult, Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk, The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album, The Merchant of Death by DJ McHale, Kissed by an Angel by Elizabeth Chandler, The Distance Between Us by Casey West, Attachments by Rainbow Roll, Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, The Sign of Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Dark Secret 2 by Elizabeth Chandler, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer, The 
The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Nepiker, The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, The Lost City of Far by DJ Mikhail, Dark Secrets One by Elizabeth Chandler, Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk, Ink Death by Cornelia Funk, Glass by Ellen Hopkins, The Hound of Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Crank by Ellen Hopkins, A Bend in the Road by Nicholas Sparks, A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks, The Bolin King, and The Bull in Deceit by Laura Anderson, The Den of Shadows Quartet by Amelia Atwater Rhodes, and The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. Well, there you have it. That is my updated 2017 bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you later with another video. Bye!